Hi, this is Mr. Fred, and we're going to talk about digital storage because digital storage is part of our everyday life, whether we're using our cell phone, our favorite video game systems, or even our favorite device or computer at home or at work. Everything requires storage, whether it's on the device itself or in the cloud, but it all starts with the basics. The binary digit, also known as the bit, which is either a zero or a one. But if we were to take eight of those bits, it would equate to one byte. If we were to take another common way to look at this, how about a tweet on Twitter? It would be about 280 bytes. Or a photo we post on Instagram, that's about 50,000 bytes or what we call 50 kilobytes. Now, how about the music that we love to listen to? A typical three minute MP3 file is gonna be about five million bytes or five megabytes. Now, take it one step further, take it to our home where we're watching our favorite high def movie, that's gonna be five billion bytes or what we call five gigabytes. Now, however we're working with our devices or using them, we do have to realize there's going to be some limitations. So let's take a look at a typical phone or a device that has about 500 gigabytes storage. The average photo is 36 megabytes, which means we can then store about 14,000 photos. If we were to look at this, we would see these would be building blocks based on 1,000. So you have 1,000 bytes is a kilobyte, 1,000 kilobytes is a megabyte, 1,000 megabytes is a gigabyte, 1,000 gigabytes is a terabyte. But then it goes further. It goes into petabytes, exabytes, and even something known as yottabytes. As long as we have digital tools and we're seeing an ever-increasing digital world, there's always going to be a need for storage. And we'll probably need even more of it, whether it is on a device or whether we place it up into the cloud.